Africa, thank you for joining us once again in Africa for a press television. I trust that you had a restful weekend. My name is Aritz Efa, welcoming you to the news updates. A senior army officer, Major General Nasi Mwazu, has stated that Boko Haram insurgents can no longer challenge Nigerian soldiers in a battle in any part of the country. Speaking during the closing ceremony of the Nigerian Army Interbrigade Competition in Akure on Saturday, the general officer commanding 2nd Mechanized Division of the Nigerian Army said, I just returned from the Northeast and can comfortably tell you that Boko Haram cannot, and I repeat, cannot take any offensive attack against Nigerian forces. That one is for sure. A 12-year-old suicide bomber killed 20 people in an attack in a bar in Mwaru in Cameroon while in a crowded market in neighboring Nigeria, a mentally handicapped female attacker killed 14. Cameroonian State TV reported yesterday that a child bomber blew herself up among people in the popular bar, leaving at least 79 injured people. According to an eyewitness, early yesterday in the northeastern Nigerian town of Damaturu, a woman described by locals as mentally unstable detonated herself at the entrance of a market. The police in Lagos State have arrested three suspected thieves who allegedly diverted a container loaded with pharmaceutical drugs valued at 40 million naira to the Gondo area of the state. The suspects were arrested by operatives of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad attached to Zone 2 on Saturday, July 18. According to the police, the container which belonged to the United States Agency for International Development was heading for a warehouse of the Society for Family Health in Songwater, Ogun State. And battles Senate Deputy President Senator Ike Kwerimadu during the weekend broke the silence over the stare caused by the alleged doctored Senate rules saying that he was not under any police investigation. Speaking in Enugu, he also stated that allegations against him in the Senate are about non-existent issues that have nothing to do with his position as Deputy Senate President and progress of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the struggle for political supremacy in the country. Also one of PDP's senators, Chief Peter Mwaboshi, slammed Senator Kabiru Marafa over his impeachment threat against Ekwerimadu, saying that we are ready to sort it out on the floor of the Senate with APC this very week. The Nigerian army on Friday deployed another batch of 700 officers and men to Liberia on a peacekeeping mission. This is even as the Nigerian military continues to grapple with how to contain the Boko Haram insurgency. The troops are expected to depart Nigeria for Liberia in a couple of days. Nigeria's Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Buratai, who addressed the troops during their passing out ceremony from the Nigerian Army Peacekeeping Center, Jaji, in Kaduna State, ahead of their departure to Liberia, warned that the Nigerian army would not tolerate any acts of cowardice or professional negligence as they carry out their operations in Liberia. And that's the news update on African Free Press Television this hour. You can visit www.africanfreepress.com for more news. Follow at African Free Press on Twitter and like African Free Press on Facebook. My name is Aritz Efana, wishing you a great week.